Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing another color street video. If you have not seen my other color street videos, I think I've done two or three. I will link them up above here or in the description box if you guys wanna check them out. So the first videos I did, I did kind of like a first impressions and then I did some tips and tricks. And this video is going to be kind of like my preferred method of applying the Color Street strips. So if you guys aren't familiar with what they are, they are 100% real nail polish strips. They're kind of like stickers, but they're actual nail polish. So I do not sell them. I just have become obsessed with them and I have a bit of a problem with ordering them. I have been using them since October. And so I, from you guys and just from my own like practicing and trying to apply them, I've gotten some tips and tricks and I think I found like the easiest way to apply them. I recently got these in the mail yesterday. Hmm, a bit of a problem, like I said. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of go through and show you guys which ones I got. And then I am gonna kind of show you, they just came out with some new styles. So this is May of 2021. So they did just come out with some new ones and I wanted to show you guys those as well. Um, if you're not interested in this part, go ahead and fast forward to this timestamp right here and we will get into the tutorial. So I did already apply these this morning and that's what I'm gonna show you guys how I did these. These are my mermaid nails and I'm obsessed. They're so cute. Okay, so the two that I can't show you because I already opened them and used them is Key West is Best and Mermaid You Look. I think those are the names of them. I already threw away the packaging, but these are so cute. Uh, we'll get into these later and I'll give you my opinions on like the solids versus the glitters. And I'll tell you all that in a little bit. Okay, this first one I'm gonna show you guys is Costa Rica Escape. I thought this was so cute. It has so many different um, designs all in one. So you can totally make like a very customized manicure. I just, I like how they make these different packages with different strips inside. Um, a lot of them are just like the one solid color or, you know, the one same color, but I love when they do this and they kind of give you accent nails and like other stuff to play with. So I thought that was really cute. This next one is called Ice Castle and this is a total like frozen Elsa vibes here. It's like a very pretty light blue glittery. Ugh, I'm obsessed with the glitters. I think the glitters are my favorite. They seem to last a lot longer than the solids. So I'm so glad I got a blue color because I always gravitate towards the pink and this blue is so pretty. All right, this next one, ugh, this is like my color. It's like a total Barbie color right here. It's called Pink Paradise and it is so pretty. If you move it to the side a little, it's almost kind of like holographic a little bit. It's got like different shades of pink in it. And then of course it has the glitter and that one is just a really beautiful color. Next one is Moon River. Now, when I saw it online, it looked more bluey, but this is actually a lot darker. It's like a very, very dark blue. It's gorgeous. It's got the glitter in it, but it's very, very dark. I actually like it. I really like the darker colors. If you guys have seen my other videos, my favorite color is the holidays. It's a black with like different colored glitters. And that is just my favorite. I love the darker ones. So this one's really, really pretty. It looks different than it did online, but I'm happy with it. All right, now this next one, this is called Between the Lines. And this is just, it's an overlay basically. So it's not white, it's not black and white. It's actually black and clear. So when you guys see me put on my little mermaid ones, this is the same kind of concept. So you can put any color underneath these and you're gonna see the color underneath and then you're gonna see the black stripes. You're not gonna see white or anything like that because like I said, this is clear. So I really like that they're doing these. There's, uh, I think there's polka dots as well. So there's the stripes, the mermaids, and then the polka dots. And these are just really fun. You could do accents or you can do the whole nail like I did or all the nails like I did, so. Okay, this next one. Oh. This one's called Painted Dawn, and I think this one might be one of my favorites. It looks like clouds, and it looks like a beautiful sunset, and there's some shimmer, and I wouldn't say glitter. It's more like shimmer in there, and oh my gosh, this one is so, so beautiful. So I was gonna do this one first, but I decided to do the mermaids, but oh, I just love this one. All right, and then lastly, this is this one is Till the Glitter End. Ooh, this kind of matches my shirt. 
Um, I thought this one was so pretty. It's like an ombre. So it's got some pinks and some purple and definitely some glitter. And it's got that ombre effect. And oh, I just think that one is so gorgeous too. So see, like I said, you guys, I always gravitate towards the pinks. So if you do the same as me, talk to your nail girl and tell her to pick out some other ones for you. Cause that's what I did. She picked out the two blue ones for me. Cause I was like, I was like, girl, I need help. I need something away from pink. So she picked out those blue ones and I love them. All right, so that is my little haul. Those are my latest Color Street colors that I just got. Uh, if you guys have not tried Color Street and want to, I have a link down in my description box. My friend Amy sells, and she just kind of has a party going for me right now. So if you guys want to order through her, she's awesome. Otherwise, if you know someone that sells, go order them. You guys will love them. And plus you're supporting a friend. So it's a win-win situation. I'm going to insert some pictures of the new ones that they're doing. They've got a new um, Americana colors, like for 4th of July. It was really, really cute. And then they also have some bandana overlays. And oh my goodness, I need to get those. Those are really cute. That'll probably be on my next order. But those you could put over any color as well. And then you'll just see like the bandana design. So yeah, I'm going to get into the application and show you guys my way of applying these nails. My friend Amy did tell me about a really cool thing that you could do with a little paper punch. I don't have one. I thought I did, but I don't. But you can punch off part of the nail and make like a French manicure. And it looks so cute. I'm gonna have to try that one time. And then she also said you could use like a paper punch, like in a heart shape or any other, like a star or something like that and put actual designs on your nails. So these nails are so fun. There's so many different things you guys can do with them. Um, go check out Pinterest. There are so many cool ideas on there. All right guys, let's get into the application. So since I'm doing these uh, mermaid nails, you're going to need a color that you want to put underneath. You could use a solid or a glitter. I chose to do this solid pink color. And then this is the mermaid one. And like I said earlier, it's actually a black and clear. It's not going to be black and white. So when it goes on top of the other nail, it's actually going to just show the pink. So you're also going to need some scissors and a top coat of your choice. Now the first thing I like to do is just open up all the packaging and get all the goodies out. So it does have like some directions right there on the inside of the packaging and you're always going to get a nail file and then a prep pad. And I think the prep pad is just made of rubbing alcohol. So if you lose it or if you need another one, you can always just use rubbing alcohol. And then of course here are your nails and I just like to cut the top off and you're going to get two strips. So it is 16 total. And what I have found works the best. I know exactly which size fits on what finger because I do this literally probably every week. So I know exactly which one I need. And then I go ahead and set the other ones to the side. So I'm opening up the mermaid one and doing the same exact thing. Those are going to have the same things in there as well. So the first thing I do is I've got very clean nails. I just took off my last uh, set with nail polish remover and I went ahead and buffed the tops a little bit And so now I'm going to take that prep pad and just wipe down all of the nails with the pad And then I am going to set that pad aside and put it back in the packaging and we are going to use that a little later on I'm laying them out and trying to figure out which one is going to fit on each nail I already know that like I said earlier. I have it pretty much memorized. So what I'm going to do is tear off the one that I'm going to use on the pinky and I'm going to use one strip for both nails. So what I found is easiest is to just go ahead and cut it in half. Since my nails are super duper short, it is going to work just fine. So you're going to go ahead and peel that off of the paper and make sure you take the top piece of plastic off. And then you're just going to put that right on your nail and just kind of push it down. And I'm not going to do anything right away with it. I'm going to kind of let it sit there for a little bit and then I will take off the bottom piece. So I like to rub it for quite a while before I tear off that bottom piece. And then you're going to go ahead and repeat the next for the next nail and um, start with your pinkies because you want to be able to use your thumbs throughout the entire process. So this is what I found is easiest. My nails seem to be the same size and I'm able to use the same strip for both hands. And once you get the nail strip applied, just go ahead and keep pushing it down. And if it seems to be a little too big on the edge, I just take my thumbnail and just kind of push down on it and it rips right off. So I know a lot of you have said it's better if the nail, if it's too small, but I have found that it's better if it's too big because then that way I can just kind of 
get rid of the excess. Otherwise, part of your nail is showing if it's too small. So this just works for me. It's whatever works best for y'all, but this is what works best for me. So now I'm just gonna repeat the process for the rest of my hand or the rest of my nails. And I'm just gonna find whatever strip fits and then cut that in half and apply it to both hands. All right, now that I have everything applied, I do like to take my file and just kind of file the edges very, very lightly because you don't want to file it completely off. Like you don't want to take the tip of the nail off. I know, um, but this works really great for me just in getting the excess part of the nail strip off. And um, this just works well for me because my nails are really short. And for the most part, I'm filing my skin pretty much, just getting the excess nail strip off of my skin. This is how they turned out. They look beautiful, took under 10 minutes. And so now to put them back into the packaging, I am using a nail file, which was recommended by a bunch of my viewers. Uh, in my first video, I had a heck of a time getting them back into the packaging. So they recommended using a nail file to kind of get them to get started back in there. And then I just hold it open and then put the loose pieces back in there. All right, now we are gonna take the Little Mermaid strips and we are gonna do the same exact process. I'm gonna be using the same exact sizes for each nail. So once you get it figured out what size fits on each nail, it's so much easier because you just know exactly what to do. So I'm just gonna remove that top plastic piece, cut them in half, and then apply them to all the nails. So one thing I did wanna mention is I've only ever used a solid color by itself one time. Oh, and this is what they look like. You can see that you could see my skin through it. So it is clear. It's the clear and black. So you're only going to see black and pink once it gets put on. So what I will say about the solids, they don't last as long as the glitters. So I have found that you probably need to um, double them up to get them to last a little bit longer. So I either like to double them up with two of the same solid or do an overlay like this. So that's why I wanted to use this pink solid because I thought that this would work great with the overlay and that they would last a lot longer together. So yeah, like I said, the glitters last a little bit longer, but I really do like how the solid ones look too. And you also can use, I've heard, I've never tried it, but I've heard that they have a clear strip as well that can be used as a top coat. So I might recommend doing that on top of a solid as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just repeat this process for the rest of my hand or both hands and then I will be back. This is how they turned out. I think they look so cute and I cannot believe that this took me around 10 minutes to do. So now I'm gonna take that pad that I used right off the bat and I'm going to go ahead and rub it on my fingers now. Uh, I can't remember if I learned this trick from an actual color street, like the website or the packaging or if it was from one of you guys, but I just like to do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and follow it up with this gel top coat. It's not really a gel. It's just a regular nail polish. I think I got it from Dollar Tree, but I've used it so many times with these color strip nails and it works so well. Uh, I have heard that if you use like a really cheap kind, it can ruin the nails. And while this one was only a dollar, uh, it works really, really well. So I just wanna keep using this one. I don't wanna rock the boat and try anything else. So I'm hoping I'll be able to find this one again next time I start looking for it. But yeah, so just, I do recommend using a top coat just to keep the nails lasting a little bit longer.
right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know down in the comments below if you guys use Color Street or if you're on the fence. They usually have a, a buy three, get one free. If you're on the fence about these, just try them. I have a feeling you'll like them. And if you don't like them on your nails, put them on your toes. They last forever on your feet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys missed any of these other Color Street videos, check these out and we will see you all soon. Bye.